Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Now that we've arrived at the Riverside Station, we can go outside and check it out. Behold the beauty of the sunset. Oh, so beautiful. Brings a tear to my eye with the crayon clouds. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> it's so super cool looking. I want to drive it right now. Oh, stuck on you. So little Bob really does like trains, does he? Where does one buy a train? <laughs> well, at least now you know what your kid likes. Pay more attention next time. <laughs> oh no, what do we do? Someone left at the drawbridge. A train can't leave the station like this. Yeah, I, well, it, uh, hmm. it could jump the gap. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> I saw a suspicious looking shadowy person wearing a hat going to the station. He must have gone to the bridge control room to flip the switch there. But that switch hasn't been used in so long. I don't know where the control room is. So, um, it's probably against protocol to ask the passenger to do this, but... Since you are the famous Mario and all, could you find and throw that switch? Maybe? Oh, why am I always wrapped up in these sort of things? No, I've got better things to do. Well, actually, uh, well... Well, okay, actually, that is pretty important, actually. So maybe this is conductive to progress, so I'll just say yes. Really? That would be super. Well, here's the station key. And you get the station key. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Oh, I've been cooped up in there breathing stale air too long. I wanted to go out and take a walk so I could build up an appetite for dinner. I don't think you need to do anything to build up an appetite. <laughs> uh, save block and healing block if you need them here. Ah, oh, my dear Luigi, our suspect was not only a fake zip code. He was some mysterious being in a white sheet, which was exactly as I suspected. How? How could you possibly have suspected that? Too bad he gave us a slip like that, though. He was rather a slippery sort. We could have questioned him all about that Belden business. How did you know that? This is Riverside Station. We stopped to refuel. There's a quaint drawbridge here from where pleasure boats cruise the canal. But it hasn't been used since the canal was dried up and turned to pasture. Anyway, let's go open the door and go inside, which is, believe it or not, the next dungeon in the game. Yep, the Riverside Station is the next dungeon, a train station. as a rather unique dungeon. By the way, that badge up there can't get that just yet. So anyway, uh, let's see here. Bridge switch. Oops, oops, oops. Remember to always return the control room key to the office. There's, el there's a hole here for the elevator key. But you don't have the elevator key. Oh, I need the lift key. You know, it's Pokemon. <laughs> anyway, go in here right off the bat. La 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 la. Switch. Oh, some I missed. <laughs> Stairs! Hey! Just thought I would get that over right off the bat. I don't know how you could possibly miss that and, you know, not think to solve that puzzle even before you go into said puzzle because, you know, there's... No possible way you could miss that. Well, maybe, I, maybe you could miss that hole, but it's a pretty obvious hole. <laughs> At least in my opinion. Oh, new enemy. Need a different buddy out. Goombella. This is a rough puff. Whoa. Get. Nope. Oh, gee. Whoa. Yeah, there we go. Uh, despite this being a dungeon, there actually isn't all that many battles in this place. It's just like the chapter itself, and that it's a rather uh, chill place overall, and that it's mostly um, puzzle-based more than anything. Anyway, this is a rough pop. Don't confuse them with dark pops. Although, I don't think the world would end if you did confuse them. <laughs> but anyway, max HP is 7, attack is 4, and defense is 0. They swoop at you or charge themselves with electricity before unleashing lightning. Oh, and if you touch them while they're charged, you'll get a shock. Yeah, so they're just like the, your usual puff, except they're a little bit tougher overall. No big deal, really. Mm, charging up. Bloop. Mm. Oh, two out of three are charged, really. <laughs> Well then, um, hmm, I guess I'll demonstrate this little move here. A V. you charge up basically by pressing the button that's active on there. And now Mario can attack more than once per turn. It's a supportive move, basically. Anyway, just jump on the one that I can safely jump on, even though that failed. But because I used Rally Wink, I can jump again. Oh, come on! <laughs> 
I hate fog sometimes. Although it can work, you know, in your favor sometimes as well. So it's not, so it's not that much of a loss. Even though I'm getting the, the brunt of most of the attacks here. Anyway, head bonk. Oh, did some damage. I can't believe it. I, I just, no, it's impossible. I'm doing more damage. <laughs> it's like it doesn't seem to be affecting the enemies all that much. It's most certainly affecting mine. Oh, thank you, audience member Boo. Alright, let's finish this off. Bloop, bloop. Obviously, I'm not going to keep battling all the enemies in the areas. It's just uh, a matter of, you know, beating the enemies that I've uh, newly encountered, I guess you could say. Bloop. Woo! Yeah! I think I'm going to do my H. I don't. It's either HP or badge points. I guess I'll go with HP because uh, there's something that's coming up that will do a lot of damage to you. So, yeah. Anyway, over here, I just want to show you down this way. See, there, we got a little platforming segment there. If you fall, you end up where those puffs are. Uh, that's sort of like the punishment of sorts. Is there something hidden here? It looks like this wall is different from the others. No, I guess not. It seemed... Yeah, I didn't think so. I, don't, I never remembered something being there. It just looks like that wall is sort of suspicious. Anyway... Oh, shoot! That was bad. I should have watched the gears a little bit better. And thus, I fell into their trap, just as they planned. Oops, what am I doing? No, 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 run. That was like, I didn't even have to charge at all based on where the cursor stopped. <laughs> anyway. All right, let's watch the gears a little bit more carefully this time. Okay, so they do that, and no, it's kind of weird how they work. I'll eventually get this. Okay, so it, it's like... They do one, then two in a row, or something like that. Like, look at that. See that? It goes... Um... Ah, there we go. Just gotta pay more attention. Alright. I like how there's arrows pointing that you can go under there, just like, for whatever reason. Like, who would put arrows on one of these gears if you're... I mean, it's like no. I mean, no one else is really cursed except for me that would be able to do that roly poly move. So it's like, what's the point of that whatsoever? <laughs> anyway, obviously we got to get that key over there, but there's a star piece down there, so do not forget about that. Uh, okay, now platforming. Ho. Uh, oops. Mm -hmm. ah, there we go. Yeah, that wall doesn't stay up for too long, so concentrate on the wall in order to uh, get Koops past it. Obviously, you can't go uh, across to the other side there, because the wall is just going to push you down. Oh, shoot! Why did I do that? I knew they were down there. Well, I guess it's the fastest way to go back anyway, unless I'm going to uh, bother waiting around for the gears. <laughs> and you've seen how well I beat those gears. Oh, barely got past it. I mean, barely escaped, I should say. Ah! Let coins fly out here. Oh, dang it. I didn't think they would keep flying out when they were out here, so I could collect them safely. Uh, oh, wait. Is this key for this door? Yeah, okay. Uh, I didn't think that was the uh, elevator key that soon, I was going to say. <laughs> oh, the beauty. New enemy. But the beauty. Poison pokey. <laughs> All right, Poison Pokey. Yep. Oh, got an item. Oh, uh, I never got, got to show off Miss Mouse's uh, Kiss Thief move, did I? But anyway, first off, let's do a... Oops, I was on the correct thing. What am I doing? Tattle. A 
it's a poison pokey. As you probably guessed, it's a poisonous pokey. Max HP is 8, attack is 4, and defense is 0. If you get poisoned, your HP will slowly drain, so you may want to avoid that. I'm sure you can see this, but they don't have spines all over. So, I mean, but but they have they have spines all over, so don't touch them. Miss Ryder, they may be smiling, but that doesn't mean they're happy to see you. They're happy to kill you. Um, let's just wipe out one of them. <laughs> Do not multiply. Oh, oh, poopers. <laughs> well then, that's a bother. I'm gonna swap. Oh wait, wait, hold on a sec. Well, hold on a sec. I'm gonna swap with Mario because then that won't burn a turn. To Miss Mouse and attack with Kiss Thief. Oh, right. You, you can only attack the first one in front. Boopers. Boopers. Well, I'll do a tease. Oh. Oh, freaking. <laughs> Kind of failed it the first time, but maybe this will be good enough. No. Nope. And I even missed the stylish timing. It's a little bit late on that. Eh. And it's using the item. Brr. Not really that. Well, I wasn't able to show the kiss thief move. <laughs> well, basically, she just steals the item and gives it to you. Alright. Should I really be bothering to battle these really annoying enemies? <laughs> I'm sort of questioning that the, at this moment in time. I'm gonna swap to Coops. Ah, oh, poison. I mean, I'm only kind of doing this because I want to demonstrate their attacks and whatnot, but normally I wouldn't really bother with them too much. Because <laughs> the enemies here kind of got a lot, kind of got relatively high stats, and your stats really kind of have a hindrance to what you know what they're capable of doing like those pokies for example you can't like easily defeat them in one turn with just your regular moves so anyway i got a uh, hp drain there but yeah you get what i'm saying here oh no see this block it's already hit or so it looks like but if you go on top of this there is a thunder rage on top of that oh i'm full on stuff bye bye mushroom <laughs> Wait, wait, hold on a sec. Why did I drop that? I could use that. Hold on. Yeah, I know there's a shine sprite there. I don't want to be wasteful of items. That's what I'm thinking of here. Okay, so drop Thunder Rage. He's smart with the items. There we go. Lure the por pokey away. Grab the Thunder Rage. Lure it away again. There we go. That was pretty decent. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna collect that shine sprite. Uh, uh, I don't think. Uh, oh, I got a little panicky there. There's so many things coming at me at once. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> Mm, 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 mm. There we go. Now, next room that's coming up here. We're gonna need Flurry to uncover. Meow. What? Oh, I was gonna say, what the heck? Yeah, this takes a while. It, it feels like that it's like, I don't know, slowing down? You know, is that all? Meow, okay. It, like, you know. You know when there's like too many sprites on screen and it just slows down the feel of whatever is... Yeah, you get what I'm saying here. Anyway, let's just go inside. Oh, and I just realized I forgot a badge in that other uh, in that other room. I'll, I'll don't worry, I'll get it when I uh, go back through there again. Anyway, new enemy. This is a spiky parabuzzy, if I recall correctly. Oh, jeez, combined with a pokey. Yeah, they've got a lot of defense. <laughs> I should have swapped to Go uh, Goombella first. Spiky Parabuzzy! Yeah, it's a spiky Parabuzzy. It's a Buzzy with a spike and wings. Max HP is 5, attack is 3, and defense is 4. Hey, the same stats as normal Buzzy. Fire and explosions don't work on Buzzy, just in case you've forgotten. And this one flies in the air and has a spike. What a total pain. So, you better use an item or a special move. Yeah, Earth Tremor, very, very effective on them. Oh, here comes Mr. Softener. You stinker. 
Let's do... Wait, actually... How about an art attack? That would be more effective, actually, but it uses more star points. Yeah, it's gonna be sort of overkill, actually, but I just don't use this all that much, so... Yeah. I'm gonna keep going even though they're dead. Notice how that the more effectively you circle an enemy, the more damage it does. Yeah. You can use that to sort of strategically move your way around... Um, I mean, strategically use it on enemies. Um, you'll notice that there's a hole here, and there's a, also a hole over to the right. I should show that too as well. I'm actually going to drop down the right hole first. Mew. See that? Now we're in here with the poison pokey shoots, but that's not actually not where we want to go. I'm just showing you this right now so you get an idea of something after we do something down the chute. I think this is supposed to be like a garbage chute of sorts. Um, don't go to the left, it's pretty redundant. In fact, it's it it's this right here. It's a punishment route of sorts. Yeah, it's, it's not really all that big of a deal, it's just that there's no point in going over to the left. But you've got to make this jump right here and okay. Uh, over to the right, you do not want to go. You do, however, want to plop down this hole, and can I make, can I like, I think I'm supposed to use the Yoster here. Oh, no, that won't work. Gotta just make the jump. Uh, I'm back to Kumbala. Wait, wait, actually, I should have Miss Mouse out. Yeah, I know I'm indecisive here, sue me. <laughs> oh, that wasn't, that jump wasn't that bad. Power up, defense down badge. Yeah, all right now uh, when you fall down here this is kind of stupid because it's blind you want to fall and hit the left wall not the not the right side see it splits into a triangle and you want to go down the left side the right side takes you out and it's pointless because then you'll have to go through this all over again but this leads you up here to this dried shroom mmm delicious oh geez I'm in another one of these situations I right, drop that oh no don't go that way Oh, I don't want to lose that. <laughs> I don't want to lose a Thunder Rage 4 just because I wanted to be stingy with my items. Oh, I'm going after it. All right, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to go through that maze again. Poopers! And I'm also going to run from this battle. Or not. And here we go once again. Oh, it. There we go. <laughs> there. Now, over here, go through this door. And we are in a new room. Look at that, there's a key. Here's a door. Here's a regular Goomba, yeah. <laughs> a regular Goomba. As I said, this place is not all that battle-centric and as you might be able to tell, things are not all that much of a threat here overall. I mean, yeah, the, the Pokies are kind of annoying, but overall, you can run from things if need be. Uh, oh wait, left and right, left and right. Yeah. Woo! One experience point. <laughs> yeah, kind of a waste, sort of, overall, but, uh, oh well. Oh, actually, no, wait, this is the room you have to battle all these Goombas. You'll see why after I battle all the Goombas. <laughs> Yee. So, how's it going? <laughs> I mean, this is a really casual battle here, just gonna ask how the weather is doing and all sorts of cliché uh, icebreakers, I guess you could say, to fill in the uh, dead air to... <laughs> Yeah, these are all just regular Goombas from the earliest of the early games. <laughs> they seem so out of place, you know, so late in the game like this. I mean, even the um, uh, Roadport Sewers updated the enemies in that they were, uh, you know, they switched to more of Bowser's more elite minions, I guess you could say, like the Magic Koopas and the um, uh, Koopa. I forgot the name of the other Koopas with the armor and stuff like that. Yeah, those kinds of Koopas. 
Hammer Brothers. All right, I'm done here. <laughs> no need to fill more odd dead air. And okay. Now you see that each one of these has a number. Well, you got to hit them with the, with your hammer as many times as the number says until it turns red. Uh, a ten. <sighs> All right. Not much of a puzzle, but a puzzle nonetheless. <laughs> All right, we got some stairs. We've got a shine sprite coming up here. Uh, I don't think there's anything over here overall. I'm just gonna check this with flurry. I really don't think there is anything here. But yeah, I see that that shadow over there. That's a shine sprite. We gotta go up here. Swapped coops. Bloop. You get a shine sprite. Huzzah! And open this chest. Very big chest. And you get. Ultra Boots! Woo! Hi, it's me again, Toadette! It's nice to see you again, Hard. Way to get the Ultra Boots! Now your jump attack power will go way, way up! And you can use a new jump technique, too! Let's practice it right now! It's a little hard, but I know you'll get it! Just hold down A and rotate the control stick to make your body fold up! You're at least ready to do a giant spring jump! This sounds like a curse to me! <laughs> Remember though, you need to rotate a lot before you release A, okay? So... Woo! Spring jump can help you reach new areas, since you can grab pipes above you. Move left or right to move along a pipe and press B to let go of the pipe. Bloop. Wow! Way to go, Mario! That was very well done. Heart, wanna try it again? No, I've got it. I've got it. I'm good. Okay, now you've mastered spring jump. Heart. You can grab pipes on the ceiling now, so I'm sure you'll access lots of new areas. The spring jump also lets you attack blocks and other things in high places. Oh yeah, you can use a spring jump in battle too. So, see you next time I guess, and good luck on your quest. I can use this to get that shine sprite uh, back in Rogueport sewers now, by the way. And uh, you'll typically when you have something to grab on, you'll see like there's markings on the floor which indicate something to grab on. I'll just let this drip in my head. Actually, it misses me completely. <laughs> And there we go. Look at that. Woo -hoo -hoo. Yeah, you can't do that one. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, the only way out of here is to use your new fancy spring jump. And it takes you back out to this side. But of course, now we have a uh, new puzzle here. Well, sort of, kind of a puzzle here. Go across. Oh, no, no, wait. No, 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 no. There we go. Do the roly-poly thing by instinct too much. <laughs> now, when things are up above shelves like that, you can actually knock them off using your spring jump like that. And now you know how to get that badge uh, back in the lobby. All right, oh, come on. You can't be pressing the control stick in any direction while you do that initial jump. Like, if you're jumping like this, you're not going to be able to do the control, rota uh, control stick rotating thing. Like, see that? You can't do it. But if you... But if you jump in place, then hold it, and there you go, you can do it. Oh, <laughs> That's what happens when you hit your head on the ceiling and it's unsuccessful. Anyway, moving on here. Oh, great. The Pokey Parade. <laughs> it's not that difficult to dodge one of them, but when there's a couple of them, they're off screen, you don't know exactly where they are. Things can get a little bit tricky. Eh, those coins are not worth it. <laughs> Let's just be honest here. Alright, so... Oh, dang it! <laughs> I guess I should be more mindful about uh, uh, enemies rather than try and sneak past like as tightly as I possibly can. I, I could have gone around it like very, very freely and carefully, like from like the going around the perimeter of that room. But no, no, I'm just a little bit too, too impatient. Nope, nope. I knew there was another one there. I didn't know where it was going to be angled when it, because I was changing direction. When I heard the exclamation point, and I was like, oh, oh, I don't know what I should be doing, and I ended up running into it. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. Aha! Uh, oh, it almost got me up there, actually. <laughs> Guess those coins are not that much worth it. Oh, come on. Mm. <laughs> 
All right, that worked. Now, over here, this is what I missed uh, when I went through here before. It is an HP Plus badge, which is one of the most familiar badges in the Paper Mario series. Alright. Let me through the door! <laughs> Alright, now... I only showed the backtracking there because, you know, I had an obstacle course to get through, I guess you could say. Now that I have the elevator key, let's go down. This is a little thing that happens automatically. Ah, I miss doing elevator music. What the heck are those things? Whoa, Gonzalez! What in the world are these little monsters? I don't know, but they're kind of cute. <laughs> Think these weirdos flipped the switch? Let's hurry and find it so we can switch it back. As you can tell, can't really do anything here, but you can smack them away like that. Or blow them away with flurry if you would look. If little blow them away with flurry if you would like. Ooh, look at them go! There's gotta be thousands of these suckers here. As you can tell, they seem to be gathering around that centered area. So let's just keep blowing at that and blowing at that. And they're gone. They're harmless. <laughs> so here's a switch. A switch to make another switch appear. The most pointless thing ever. <laughs> Could it be? Did I already beat the dungeon? Yep. <laughs> it's a really, really short dungeon. I thought I would make it a uh, one part uh, dungeon here. It feels silly to split this up in two parts considering how short it was in my opinion. You know, unless you have the uh, um, restricted time, you know, on YouTube. Like some people um, have restricted uh, upload time. Like you can only upload up to 15 minutes. Uh, on some accounts. All right, we are done and good to go, except for this badge. <laughs> yep. ah. Close call, partner badge. Oh yeah. All right, I think that's it. <laughs> I don't think I missed anything in the station, so let's go outside here and save the game. And also end off the part. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part. The beauty.